to the theater it is Monday which means the weekend is over which is sad and I'm back at work let us quickly recap the weekend so Saturday woke up went and saw a matinee of Endgame did nothing else for the rest of the day no I mean I did do stuff but I didn't do anything productive I just watched a bunch of Netflix I just was not in the mood to do anything <laughs> then Sunday, I woke up pretty early and by like 9 o'clock I was at my computer and editing, which was amazing. I think I edited about three chapters before I was like, hey, I need to feed myself because that had been a couple hours. So I ate and then I was like, maybe I should go out to a coffee shop in order to be more productive. And so after I ate, I laid on my bed. I did nothing for about three hours. Well, again, watched more Netflix. Tried to take a nap, didn't work. Finally at like three, I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave the house because I still need to be productive. So then I went to the coffee shop and I think I edited about another four chapters. So I got, no, three chapters and then I did another one at home, no, four, I don't know. All told yesterday, I managed to edit through eight chapters, which is awesome. I found another chapter I need to write, which is less awesome, but I have reached chapter, I finished chapter 27, so I think I'm on chapter 28. I think that's what it is. So I have like a few chapters left to go. Seven or something? I don't know. Anyways, very exciting because it's been a very stagnant editing process. It has taken its time. But yeah, so that is awesome. And um, hopefully I can keep being productive like that tonight, today, after work, whenever that is. And um, yeah, so caught up on the weekend. I am here. I am hungry. So I'm going to go have my breakfast drink here in a second. Uh, but I slept pretty well last night too, which is great. And also my resting heart rate when I sleep has now dropped quite a bit from where it used to be, which is exciting because when I was working a lot and when I was back in the city and I was walking everywhere, like, you know, 17K in a day was pretty normal for me. My resting heart rate when I was sleeping was like 41, which is like peak. And then it got up to like 60 something. So now we're at 51 and I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think it's all my working out. Ooh, ooh. Even though I didn't work out at all this weekend because I was just lazy. But it's Monday, so we'll also probably get back into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so I just got home from work and then going to the store because I need work pants because I've been working my sweats for like the last week and it is getting warmer and warmer and I'm not appreciating it. I couldn't find the same pair of pants that I love that I've been wearing for like a year in my size. So I got some just jean capris. Cause jean capris are better than nothing. And I feel like they'll be a little bit sturdier than the other ones I have. I feel like really wide right here. Anyway, I also had mail. Do you, do you see that? <laughs> so I opened the mailbox and uh, I, I saw this. And I'm like, yeah, that's definitely for me. That's for my friend Abby. I can definitely see that would be the way she would pack it. So funny story is she's had this forever to send. I sent her a package, I want to say last year at some point, that I had had forever. I hope I didn't just cut something important. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I had had it forever. Like I had moved twice before I sent it, so... It's just kind of what we do. <laughs> we did a FaceTime together before I sent mine and she hadn't sent this, obviously, cause that was like a year ago. And um, so she's like, this is what I'm sending you and this is what I'm sending you. Um, whereas I followed through and then actually sent it. Obviously it's taken her a little while. She, she messaged me the other day and was like, um, some stuff broke, but it's fine. So anyways, Let's open this. Here's some fabric. <laughs> Yet I should open the card first. Cute. All right. Oh, I remember this. It's a follow that dream globe. Woo. I do remember her showing me that. This says fragile on it, so hopefully it survived. The weirdest thing I ever sent to her, because she lives in Ontario, 
is I went to the beach with a jar and I sent her some of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> And I was super afraid that was going to break, but it survived the trek. Oh, I know what this is. She sent me a picture of this. She's getting married in June, but unfortunately, I won't be able to make it. But yeah, it says, Tiffany, wedding VIP. So even though I won't be there, I'll be there in spirit. That is so pretty. Okay, that can go over there. That is fragile, so I should be careful. Here's some more fabric. <laughs> I'm sure this was just for cushioning, but I'm kind of down for it. Ooh, is this a candle from the wedding? I feel like I'm getting a, a sneak peek prize because I get to see it before everybody else. <laughs> oh, yes, it is a candle and it's got their little wedding decor on the top. Here's some little fake diamonds. I actually have, I think, some purple ones or maybe these ones she sent me forever ago. There's, ooh, this is pretty. A scarf that is now stuck is very nice. And that is it. So very exciting. I love mail. Seriously, mail is the greatest thing that ever was. I love how these are all a bunch of <laughs> oh, they're no frills, not superstore, but no frill bags. Okay, so that's exciting. And I am home now. Obviously, it is a beautiful day outside. It's like 17 degrees, which is one degree warmer than it was yesterday. And yesterday, I found it quite warm. When I went to the coffee shop, I went in shorts, which was nice. I think I probably should tidy up my room a bit, and then I think I should get into editing, because I'm getting so close to the end. I'm on chapter 27, or no, I've revised 27 chapters, so I'm on chapter 28. Only going up to 34 on this round. Next time, I'm guessing they'll be closer to 40, but that's cool. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go text Abby and tell her thank you for the fun treats. I like you. And um, yeah, I will check in with you later. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change into shorts, it's kinda warm. Okay, so I didn't do any cleaning, like I still, it's just a mess. Um, but I'm gonna go work out now, I think. I get to wear my fun, these are my favorite workout pants because they fit me now, <laughs> yeah. And um, way too excited about that, I know. I haven't done laundry for over a week, I think. Um, and it is just bad because I've been working out so much. It's just bad. So that should probably happen tonight. So I think I'll go work out and then I'll do laundry after and then sort the mess out here and then get into some editing. I'm just like slappy, slappy, slappy. I don't know why, just when I'm wearing shiny pants, I just feel the need to. Um, so that's the plan for now. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be super productive. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, so hopefully that will translate. I don't think I'm gonna do the HIIT program. I'm not really enjoying it, so I am enjoying lifting weights. So I'm gonna take this week to try to just up my weight lifting and my reps and stuff and see if I enjoy that more. And if I don't, then I'll try the HIIT thing again. I just... I just, I don't, I don't, I don't like it, turns out, meh. So we'll see how this week goes and then I'll maybe give it a try again next week. But for this week, we'll do cardio and we'll do weights. Stop it! And we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, workout is done. Probably could have lifted more weights. I got kind of bored. <laughs> I'm the worst, that's why I work out like four or five times a week because I'm just, I just slack sometimes. Anyway, I'm super gross. It's just about four. I think I'm gonna jump in the shower here soon and then probably do my laundry but I'm just super lazy and unmotivated so I'm just gonna sit here in my sweat for a little while I think before I do that a little gross I know it's fine but um yeah that's where we're at I'm uh watching a movie because I was watching it while I was working out and I kind of want to finish it but also there's like 45 minutes left so maybe I should just put it off till a little later I'm thinking yeah seems like a good idea all right well I'll check back in with you later. Ooh, I had troubles with English there. And uh, hopefully I'll be clean at that point because I'm a little, little gross. Alrighty, so I have definitely showered since you last saw me. My hair has become a poof ball, but that's fine. I've eaten dinner and I've edited it and I don't know what happened, but it's pretty much nine o'clock now. So that's the thing. My laundry is also in, so I should go check to see if that's done. Wait, I think I can still hear the dryer. It's cool. Anyway, um, yeah, I've just been editing, nothing super fancy, nothing super exciting, and my room's still a mess, but I think it's just gonna 
be a mess tonight, that's fine. Don't really care. <laughs> Good attitude, I know. But yeah, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna continue editing. We're getting close to the end, and I can't believe, honestly, though, like looking at how many chapters I have left and how much I know has to happen, I'm really wondering how large these last couple of chapters are, but we'll see as we go. We might have to split some chapters. It's happened before. Anyways, I'll check in with you in a little bit. I still have to do a blog post for today too so I got lots to do and I'm running out of time but must edit more. Alrighty so it is just about 10 30 now I have done some editing I've written my blog post I can't wait for this edit to be done with I'm so close and yet it feels so far away I still have so much to do and only like 30 pages for it to happen so I'm a little bit concerned about pacing but it's gonna be fine my yep yeah, no I look like I'm insane so I'm kind of feeling it. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here for the day, go to sleep, gotta work tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>